We awoke early the next morning. Around five I'd say the sun hadn't risen and all I heard was people arguing and it wasn't hard to figure out what it was about, Percy and Gordon. They were gone. You couldn't believe how pissed I was to think they just left us here alone. From what I saw they took some vans from the yard and took the survivors they had as well as a few of ours. Toby was upset talking about how it was a new low for them. While we were figuring everything out we heard the sound of a steam engine quietly rolling up to the sheds. It stopped right in front of the door, and we couldn't tell who it was due to the amount of filth on the windows damn cleaners were always lazy. We all kept quiet, no one made a goddamn sound as we knew whoever it was wasn't a friend of ours anymore. The thing then began backing away and we got we were safe, boy were we wrong. The damn thing charged at the door and slammed into it. He did this over and over trying to break it down. Toby was shivering in fear, begging saying how he didn't want to die. Henrietta tried to calm him down but that didn't work. The thing growled and moaned the same as those zombies. That's what Jake called them last night before we went to sleep so I'm going with it. We got we were goners until the thing stopped and all we heard was the chuffing and whistling of an engine. Suddenly a fish train raced by and in the front was a big LMS red engine screaming as those zombie-like creatures crawled all over biting and tearing pieces off of him. The engine raced back and went after him. We decided it was best for us to get the hell out of there. Seems this disease can also infect engines and not just people. God who knows who else could be one of these monsters.